What could that sound mean? Could it possibly mean Pikmin? The answer is yes. Hello everyone, my name is Steven George and I play video games, and today I'm jumping into the world of Pikmin. However, I'm not going alone. You're going with me! I am going with Mal. Might sound a little unusual, you may be saying, Steven, Pikmin is a single player game. You know what? Good job, you are very observant. However, we did a single player game together back a few years ago. It was called Zelda Twilight Princess, and people really liked it. And you know what? That formula will work very well for Pikmin as well. The difference is that Pikmin actually runs on a day system, so every day you are doing stuff that leads into the next day. It does mean that we could potentially screw this up really badly. Like, I could drown all of the yellow Pikmin on my day, and then the next day, Mal would have to somehow correct my mistake. It's going to be an interesting cooperative Let's Play because we rely on the other person to do their part, but it may just devolve into us screaming at each other. I don't know, we'll find out. Um, it should be noted that Mao, uh, this is going to be a mostly blind Let's Play for Mao, but she has played a few of the first days. I'll let her do that because, in my opinion, Pikmin's a little complicated, and I wanted her to get a good handle on the controls. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be completely blind for her, and I also haven't played this game uh, since it came out for the GameCube in 2001. So it's been a long time. By the way, that's 14 years ago, people in case you wanted to feel old. Now, before we get started, I want to do a quick shout out to our producers over at Patreon. These are the people that support us over on patreon.com at the producer level. Their names are scrolling up on the screen now. Thank you so much. We do truly appreciate your support. We really could not continue to do this without your support, and we very much appreciate it. If you're interested in supporting us on Patreon, either at the producer level or the backstage pass level, there should be a link to take you over to Patreon now on screen, and it will also be in the description below. Please go check it out. I would very much appreciate it. That being said, Mao, are you ready to jump into the world of Pikmin? I'm very excited. Let's jump into the magical world of Pikmin. There's a lot of buttons, by the way. I think, I think anyone has played any of the Pikmin games will understand why I let Mao play a little of it. Because if she didn't, she would be struggling with the controls just as much as she would be trying to, like, figure everything out. Because you have 30 days to do everything, and if you don't get it done, you, you don't get the good ending. And that's really bad. I also want to point out that... Um, in the GameCube version, there was no way to redo days, so if you if you screwed up a day, too bad. In the Wii version, you can actually redo a day. That being said, we will not be redoing any days. This is it's we're playing it where it lies. I do not know how many parts we're going to get. We're shooting for all thirty, sure, but I don't know how many we're going to get. So wish us luck, but I don't actually know if we'll be able to do it. Fingers crossed, though, it may happen. Now, if you're not familiar with um, the Pikmin series, you're probably at least familiar with the Pikmin themselves and Captain Olimar. He's in the Smash Brothers games and Brawl and 4. But he uh, is a astronaut. He travels through space. And he was traveling through space when he got hit by a meteor. And unfortunately, all of the parts of his spaceship flew off into the wilderness and he crash landed on a strange alien planet. Which brings us to the beginning of the game, the impact site. Now, I also had said before that we're going to be taking turns. I am starting off today, so I'm going to be playing day one so I can kind of explain what's going on. That means that Mal is in charge of day two. Uh, day two is harder than day one, so... No. The odds are stacked against you, Mal. Sorry. So we're here on the planet. We've just realized that uh, we're majorly screwed. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. Ugh, I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate the planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, ugh, no, better not to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. So now we have a goal. Um, the dolphin, by the way, is named for the code name of the GameCube. Before it was called the GameCube, it was called the Dolphin. Um, so we've got a bit of a predicament because we have very limited oxygen and we can only survive for 30 days, so we gotta get the heck out of here in 30 days. We're gonna start by wandering over to this strange thing. Also, I probably shouldn't have to explain it because you could probably tell, but Olimar's very short. Um, I think he's about the size of a quarter. He's not... I don't believe he's human. He's just like some other species. Mm -hmm. um, a strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me, and then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion, so I shall call this an onion too. It's an onion, yay! 
and it spit out a seed which is waiting for us right here. Also, really like the Wii controls because I could just point and it's gonna make things happen. Hmm. Seems like an interesting thing. It's Wiggly. The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and is now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. Quite violent. It really is. The sound is like... Hey, little guy. Extraordinary. When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stares there staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much, so I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it with A, and then throw it in the direction I point. First off, <laughs> if Olimar is not a crazy psychopath, <laughs> if that's his first thought, he needs to get help. Throw it. <laughs> and I will call it to my side with B. Hmm, perhaps it will react to C and pressing down while pointing as well. The following controls appear to allow me, and they're going to show you the viewpoints. You can rotate the camera, you can zoom in and out, and you can also change to a top-down perspective um, in case you really like playing, uh, you know, GTA 2 style. <laughs> We're going to cause some, some havoc here in the city. So we throw these little guys. We hold A to ready one. And she just, like, ask them nicely. No, Olimar's first thought is to grab them by the neck and chuck them. And then they turn colors because they are not being used. We can call them back to our side with B, which is our whistle. I don't know how, why Olimar's first thoughts were related to this, but yeah, okay, sure. Little weirdo. Uh, a little close. Hey, you're in my <laughs> bubble. You're in my bubble, dude. <laughs> we, we, I need place to, a place to breathe. What does this Pikmin think of me? I must observe its reactions. The more things I try, the more reactions I can catalog. I shall attempt to grab and throw it with A and call it to my side with B. Perhaps it will react to C. It just wants me to do all these things. So if we hold down uh, down on the D-pad, we actually make a little line. It will make a lot more sense when we have more Pikmin. Also, if we press C, we dismiss the Pikmin. You'll notice at the bottom of the screen, I have uh, a green tr uh, rectangle. And in that rectangle is how many Pikmin are following me. The number to the right of that is how many Pikmin are out in the field. And the number to the right of that is how many Pikmin I have total. So let's call this guy back. I have a theory. What's that? Maybe Olimar throws his carrots. Yeah. <laughs> I really like the Pik Pik brand carrots. I always used to chuck them at my wife. Maybe that's it, Mal. Maybe you figured it out. <laughs> So, we have one Pikmin, but we need more Pikmin! So we're going to throw it at this thing. And it's going to go nuts. Because it <laughs> likes to kill leaves. It's also automatically going to grab that thing, which is called a pellet. Of course, the game is going to explain all of this to us in just a moment. Look at it go! It reproduced. It's... like love. Astonishing! The onion has sown more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. So, those pellets um, produce seeds. And whenever they're taken back to an onion, they go up and seeds will sprout. It takes 10 seconds after they're put in the ground to come up. More now, Pikmin! Now, fun fact, if you actually wait, uh, these will turn into different, um, what do you call it? Types of plant things? Yeah, they're different. It grows. They, they turn from a leaf to a bud and then a bud to a flower. And if you leave them in the ground, they'll do that. And if, if they become like a bud or a flower, they're actually stronger and faster. But it takes a while. So we're just going to go ahead and pluck them. So now we've got three. Hey, little buddies. Three buddies. I got three buddies. And I can keep marching them. Look at them go. All right. So let's go ahead and get to work here. Now, if we throw two over here... You'll notice when they go to carry it, the number that appears on the top is the number that is required to carry it. The number on the bottom is how many people are currently carrying it. So they only needed one Pikmin to carry that thing, but two of them carried it, so they did it a little bit faster. Now, because we put a, um, a pellet of the matching color in here, we actually got two seeds instead of one. Although it's a little confusing because that's the only pellet that gives you double. All of the other pellets will give you the exact number that's listed on them if you take them to an identical color. Should be obvious by this point, but yes, there are multiple colors of uh, Pikmin. 
So, we got all five so they can carry that over there now. And uh, once again, because the reds are carrying a red pellet, they will take it to the red... Well, it's... Okay, it's a red pellet because there's more red Pikmin than anyone else, because there are no other colors. They're going to take it to the red onion. And because a red onion got a red pellet, it will give me the number listed on the pellet. If, for example, yellows took the red pellet, it wouldn't give me five. It would only give me like two or three or something like that. So if you can, you really want to take the number of... Or you really want to take the color of Pikmin... Um, that you need for that color for that pellet. Exactly. You want to mm -hmm. match the Pikmin colors in the pellets when you can. So I'm going to grab all these guys. And that should give me 10? We got 10. All right. So with 10 Pikmin, we can actually move this box. So I'm going to march them all into the box, which had a 10 written on it. And we get a little army of 10, so they're going to push this box as hard as they can up here. They could probably stop at this point. It's really... Must line up rock. Really not necessary, guys. It's Okay, good for you. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. Approach and press A to pick sprouts. Press A to grab Pikmin. Release to throw. Press B to call them. C to dismiss. Down on the D-pad and point to command and control the group. Z and up and left and right. Okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You can also check stuff on the computer with the um, plus button, which is something that we'll be doing uh, as well. Now, that is the engine. Uh, but also, before we get the engine, I want to work on getting some other Pikmin, because there are actually some other Pikmin around. Um, well, pellets. We want pellets. So we're going to assign one here. We're going to assign five here. There we go. Hopefully they will all... Okay, one of them grabbed the little one, so... Nobody. One here, one here. Unfortunately, working with a bunch of guys like that can be very difficult and tedious. So you just kind of have to do your... Th okay, see, that one, like, dropped what he was doing. I'm very confused. <laughs> um, here, you go after this. You got that figured out? All right, so you let's keep going. You got one little dude following you. And I need him because there's another flower here. Get up there, buddy. Do your thing. And, of course, the ones that are carrying this are going to get there a little faster. I told him to stop. Because he's standing next to it, he should automatically... Oh, he eventually... I think he was upset! I think he was upset at me! You made him feel bad. Did I make him feel... I'm sorry, I <laughs> hurt his little feelings. He also has a hard time keeping up with me because he is only a leaf. Um, eventually, they do grow into flowers if you leave them in the ground or if you find another thing called nectar, which we'll get to probably next episode. Um... But I think there's another... Is there not another... Yeah, there's, there a, is. there's another pellet. I just don't know where... Is it up here? Yeah. Oh, I should have went left and I went right. I see. Come here, little guy. If they if they get to the flower stage, they can actually keep up with Olimar. So it's worth it to, uh, to grow them when you can. I'm going to throw these guys. Because there's two, they will work a little more quickly. And they are going to bring it over to the onion. Fantastic work. Now, if you leave these guys in the ground uh, for, I think, two minutes, they will turn to buds. If you leave them for an additional, I believe, three minutes after that, they'll turn to flowers. However, if you don't pluck the flowers for, I think, two minutes, they actually go back down. And they turn into leaves again. And that's really unfortunate. Now, if you want, you can just pluck all these now. Or, you can actually wait. And if you wait, they'll all turn to flowers. And the advantage you have is then, then you'll have... What is that, 15? Mm -hmm. We would have 15 Pikmin that are all flowers, and that's not going to do much for this particular episode, but it will help Mao out next time because she'll already have an army of, like, 15 strong Pikmin. You're so going to help? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to speed this up while we wait for just a few minutes, and these are all going to become flower Pikmin, so Mao will have a slightly easier time on day two. There's the flowers. Boom! So we're going to start plucking these. When many Pikmin seeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get it all done by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. I've also noticed that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flush with bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. Which we already got. If they're not doing something, like if they're, if they're either on a different task or they're not following you in some way, 
then they are pale. But otherwise, they are not. So now we've got 25 Pikmin. We have amassed ourselves a little army, <laughs> which is actually really awesome. Look at them. Um, now, some of them have leaves and some of them are... Uh, some of them have flowers. When we go to grab them, I'm pretty sure we can cycle through which ones we throw. Yeah, we can actually cycle which ones we throw while we're holding them. It's actually almost impossible to do with the Wii Remote. Luckily, we shouldn't really have to choose between them. But while you're holding A, if you then um, press... What is it? Down? Yeah, when you if you press down on the D-pad, you switch between them. It doesn't actually help very much. Um, it'll, it'll make a little more sense whenever we have multiple colors. But for now, we've got a good little army. You can see that the flower ones are a lot faster. They can actually keep up with me, whereas the other ones can't. And we can stumble across this part. There's exciting music there. <laughs> Hooray! Amazing! There's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I've already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but how will I get it back to the dolphin? Hmm. I'll have these guys do it! So I'm just going to march all these guys in there. Yeah, well, there they go. So I currently have zero Pikmin with me. By the way, if you don't have any Pikmin, and you press A, you punch. And Olimar can damage enemies. He just doesn't do very much damage. You also notice in the bottom left corner that green circle? That's Olimar's health. He can be damaged. Be careful out there. You want the Pikmin to get hurt, not you. I mean, ideally, you don't want anyone to get hurt. But if someone's going to die... It's gonna be them. We can always make more. Renewable resource? <laughs> kind of. Also, I feel like Olimar would actually think that because his first thoughts when he met the Pikmin was, I think I'll throw them. And then maybe if I whistle, they'll come back to me. That's- They're so happy for you. Olimar's a really terrible guy. <laughs> you really think about it. Okay, so we installed the engine back into the dolphin. I don't oh, think Olimar did anything. <laughs> Oh, glorious. With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly, but what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. So at the end of every day, you are presented with this little cutscene of everyone going back home. Um, Olimar calling any lost Pikmin, even though they're not going to come. If you leave any Pikmin out in the field, that means Pikmin that are not back at home under an onion... Um, or in the base camp or following Olimar, they are left behind. And in the final cutscene, you will actually see them being eaten alive, which is really sad, <laughs> really sad. Um, there was a song that I believe it was only released in Japan, but the lyrics were like, the translated lyrics were like, I will fight for you, I will die for you. It's really sad. One day since impact. I've somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface. Or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems that they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hokotate. Uh, quick anecdote there. Hokotate is the, the correct pronunciation, at least from what I have been able to tell. It's apparently an actual real-life street in Kyoto, Japan. Uh, people have said maybe it's uh, Hokotate, which may be the intended English pronunciation because in later games you work for Hoko Hokotate Freight. Maybe they wanted it to rhyme, but the word is actually uh, Hokotate. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the key to my survival, I'll name it the Forest of Hope. I'll explore it tomorrow. And at the end of every day, you are presented one of these little screens that tells you how many you sprouted, how many you lost in battle, how many were left behind, and of course, your total Pikmin population. We found one part. That means we've got 29 parts remaining, 29 days remaining. We'll also be allowed to save the game. Pretty good first day. However, and this is where things get drastically different. On the first day, there is no time limit. On every other day, you have a time limit, which means tomorrow, which is day two, Mao is in charge. Mao, you've only got, I think it's like 13 minutes. 13 minutes, <laughs> sun up to sundown, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. to get crap done. We have got to get these parts and we've got to get off this planet. Are you excited? Yes. You think you can handle it? Hmm, yes. Confident, I like that. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to catch the next exciting episode of Stephen the Malplay Pikmin.